paranormal detectives have come to the Glen Tavern Inn in Santa Paula, California. Now this area has a history of destruction and death, and this hotel is filled with ghosts and spectral energy. Tonight, I will be staying alone in room 307. This is the most haunted room in this entire hotel. That's alone unless you count the two spirits that famously haunt this room. The first is a cowboy who was shot right between the eyes, and the second is a woman who was beheaded and left for dead. This is Hollywood Paranormal Detectives Glen Tavern Inn, room 307. I am in for one hell of a night, and welcome to season three. I thought I heard footsteps coming at me from the front. Can you tell me what you're in for? Zero! 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 I just saw something behind me. Oh, Jesus! I asked you to show yourself now. Without what you did, without throwing that brick, there would be no energy. Two, one, touch it. Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Or just say no! Or just say ah! That was on target. We are the Hollywood Paranormal Detectives. The Glen Tavern Inn was built in 1911 in Santa Paula, California as a high-class hotel and a getaway for California's highest society and Hollywood's elite. Famous guests include John Wayne, Marilyn Monroe, Carol Lombard, and the legendary Houdini. But on March 12, 1928, the St. Francis Dam broke, flooding almost the entire city. 182 bodies were recovered, but 3,600 bodies were never found. During Prohibition, the third floor of the Glen Tavern Inn was used as a brothel and speakeasy. Allegedly, at this time, there were countless shootouts and murders that went undocumented. The undocumented spirits could be upset because no one knows their story. Now, the hotel has dozens of ghosts, from the child ghosts on the second floor, from when the second floor was used as a children's tuberculosis hospital, to Houdini himself, who has been seen in his favorite suite where he would stay that would also hold his magic tricks, and not to mention the countless spirits that have been seen in the hotel lobby. But I am here for one room, room 307, where two very famous ghosts haunt this extremely haunted establishment. That's my room for the night. First is a woman a supposed lady of the night who was working on the third floor. When her client refused to pay, she began to scream. To quiet her screams, he slit her throat and then horribly proceeded to cut off her head and cram her body in the closet of room 307. This is the infamous closet. Inside the 307 closet. We don't know what the fate of her attacker was. Could the lack of justice for her murder be the unfinished business that keeps her spirit in room 307? I'm inside room 307 by myself. This is a creepy room. The second is a cowboy named Calvin. Calvin was in charge of a horse wrangling crew for a company that was making a western movie near the Glen Tavern Inn. At the end of the week on payday, Calvin would pay his crew and then invite them to play a card game. Calvin would then win all the money he paid the crew back, making the crew very angry for working for free. One night the crew caught Calvin cheating and shot him on the spot shot him right between the eyes, and they took his body down the dumbwaiter and buried him on the property in an unmarked grave. They say he kinda looks like the western legend Buffalo Bill, and that he likes cameras and actors. Well then I think he'll like me. This is what I'm gonna do. I got a game plan for tonight. So tonight, I'm gonna treat the room like I'm a normal hotel guest till about midnight. I'm just a normal guest. I'm just a normal guest. So I'm going to set up all my equipment and I'm just going to kind of relax. I'm going to kind of use that as your average hotel guest's experience uh, in this room. 
And then after that, at midnight, I'm gonna take my camera and I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go all the way down to the lobby, and I'm gonna come all the way back up. And when I come back in room 307, I'm gonna treat it like a hot zone. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna investigate. So I'm gonna come in investigating from midnight to about three. And then after that, I'm gonna leave all the equipment on, leave both cameras on, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, and see if anything uh, has messed with me. So, oh, I'm nervous. That's the plan. Now I'm no stranger to the Glen Tavern Inn. Since I've moved to California, I've probably stayed in this hotel about 10 times. And of those 10 times, I've probably investigated this room about five. So I knew exactly what to do to try to make contact with these two particular spirits. And I also knew that the pesto cheese pizza from the hotel restaurant was the way to go for dinner. With midnight fastly approaching, it was time to put my plan into action. For Calvin, I'm gonna set up the Mel K2 on a deck of cards to see if he'll cheat. And on the prop gun we used in the gold field, I used our brand new EDI meter. And for the lady in the closet, I used the Mel Rem touch sensor, and I also used the coin decks we used on the USS Hornet. And as always, I'll probably be using the tried and true Ovulus 3. I'm gonna walk. Got me. Third floor is pretty cool. I'm checking out. This second floor. This floor is a kids' TV ward. Nothing so far. The outside. Oh, it's dark. Let's see what we can find. Now I'm not saying this is paranormal, but neither my handheld camera nor the stationary camera picked up any audio for the first hour after I returned to the room. And I've heard 307 is known for disrupting electronics, but that hour of investigation is lost. And then out of nowhere, they both started recording audio. Now I'm not saying that's 100% paranormal, but it is unexplained. Now Calvin, I heard you were in charge of the horse stranglers, and I heard you would pay your men, and then you would invite them back here to play cards, and then you would cheat them out of their winnings. Does that sound right, Calvin? Demon. Demon. Never heard about there being a demon here. Metal. Is there anyone in the closet? If you want your privacy, you can close that closet door. Do you want to close the closet door? You want me to close the door? Make a device in there go off. Now, Calvin, I heard you were cheating at cards, boy. That's the last thing you want to do. Rabbit. Is that an insult? A Western insult? Calling me a rabbit? Bet. Bet. Are you betting at cards? Come on, Calvin. Pick up a card. Pick up the gun. Enter. Someone give me a sign that I'm not alone in this room. Classic. This is a classic. Now I know you were you were killed. That's the story. There's two of you in this room. Do you like each other? Do you know each other? Calvin, were you cheating at cards? Were you killed because you were cheating at cards? And you cheated your crew out of their hard-earned money? If so, make a device go off. Hide. Are you hiding? Are you afraid to come out? Lady in the closet. I see there's a point four on the mel meter in there. Can you make that go up or down, please? Now, Calvin, do you stay out of the closet? Is that her territory? And now here's your territory? 
Lady of the Closet. Can you move one of those coins for me? Or if you don't want me to talk to you, if you're annoyed with me, can you close the door for me? Now, Calvin, you were killed by your crew. They shot you right between the eyes. They buried your body somewhere here on this property. Of course. All right, my favorite. Go off with the Oculus 3. Lady in the closet, are you here with me? Calvin, are you here with me? And you see I've got a pistol on the bed. Oh man. Remember? Did I say remember? Very loud. That was so loud. Thank you for saying that. Can you say something else, please? Now, the EMF energy in there is gone. It was at a point four. I just got a cold chill. Hello? Hi. Do you remember me? I've been here before. What's your name? Is that you, Calvin? You want me to leave you alone? Make this device go off and I'll leave you alone. Touch this right here. And I'll stop. Lady in the closet, can you talk to me? What's your name? Really not kidding a lot. I'm not even getting a vibe. Did some hard investigating, went through the devices wasn't feeling it kind of gonna go back to my original game plan I'm gonna go back to normal act like I'm just a normal guest and hopefully by the end of the night I can make some contact with somebody doors open in the closet got the K2 millimeter 0, 0.0 just kind of laying here like on. just sort of laying here for a bit keep this camera next to me if anything happens I'm gonna grab it um, yeah let's uh, maybe go to sleep let's see what happens good night So it's the next morning. Um, unless I got something on camera, I recorded all night. Uh, not a lot of activity. I mean, it's the next morning and I'm closing up and I really feel like this is a pleasant room. 
I don't have any vibes of any kind. Um, but you know what? That's what happens when paranormal investigation. Maybe this is all legend. Maybe this is all tales. Maybe there's nothing going on here but paranoia and a creepy old room. Just a nice big closet that makes you think up a story that goes with it. I got a little bit of spirit box activity. Oh man. Remember? Did I say remember? But, you know, spirit box is controversial right now. But for Hollywood Paranormal Detectives in room 307 of the Glen Tavern Inn, good night. Thank you for watching episode one of season three of Hollywood Paranormal Detectives. We do not know when our next investigation will be due to COVID-19. And thanks for staying with us through this troubled time. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page, the main source of Hollywood Paranormal Detectives. And please hit that bell so you don't miss one moment of paranormal investigation. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. To get your HPD merchandise, go to HPD's Creepy Closet. We now have phone cases, fanny packs, and face masks. To help support the team, join our Patreon page. And we'd like to thank patrons Kate Rochester, Regina Giganti, and Gustavo Miranda. Thank you for all your help. Without your support, none of this would be possible. And as always, like, follow, and share this video. If you like what you see, let everyone know. Thank you.